Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at a function, well, an analytical geometry question. In the diagram, the circle with center O has equation x squared plus y squared equals 20. G, being coordinates t and 0, is the center of the larger circle. A common tangent touches circles D and F respectively, such that D, being P and negative 2, lies in the fourth quadrant. Question 4.1. Given that D is equal to is p and negative 2 lies on the smaller circle, show that p is equal to 4. So we can use our equation to do this, as we know x squared plus y squared is equal to 20. We have a y value of negative 2, so we can say x squared plus negative 2 squared is equal to 20. We then get our x squared to be equal to 16. Therefore, x is equal to plus minus 4. Now in this case x is p and we see that d is in the fourth quadrant making its x value positive. Therefore our p value is 4. Question 4.2. E being 6 and 2 is the midpoint of df. Determine the coordinates of f. So since they say it's the midpoint we can use the midpoint theorem. So for our x value we can say 4 plus the x of f over 2 is equal to the midpoint value which is 6 of e and we get our xf value to be equal to 8. We can do the same for y saying negative 2 plus yf over 2 is equal to 2 and we get our yf value to be 6 so f is 8 and 6. Question 4.3 Determine the equation of the common tangent df in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So in order to do this, we first need to get the gradient of line df, which is also the gradient of line de, as they are all uh, in the same line. So we can say the gradient of line de is equal to negative 2 minus 2 over 4 minus 6 and we get the gradient of 2. We can then use either one of our values. In this case, we can use our value of d being 4 and 2, and we can say that negative 2, 4 negative 2, sorry, is equal to 2 being our gradient times by 4 plus c, and we get our c value to equal negative 10, making our equation 2x minus 10. Question 4.4. Calculate the value t. Show all working. So t is the x-coordinate of the center of the larger circle. To do this, we can first get the gradient of fg as it's perpendicular to the gradient of de. So if the gradient of de is equal to 2, the gradient of gf must then be negative a half as these two gradients times together needs to equal negative 1. Then, by using our gradient, we can just use the gradient formula and say that the y value of g minus the y value of f, which is 6, over the x value of g, which is t, minus the x value of f, which is 8, is equal to negative half. And if we solve for this, we get t to be equal to 20. I'm going to do the next two questions on a new slide so there's more space to work out. Question 4.5. Determine the equation of the larger circle in the form, well, in this form. So, for our larger circle, we know that g has the coordinates 20 and 0, and f has the coordinates 8 and 6. We can then use those to find our r squared value, saying 8 minus 20 squared plus 6 minus 0 squared is equal to r squared. And we get our r squared value to be 180. We then have our r squared value. We can use our equation of the circle being x minus 20, as that's the x coordinate of the center of the circle, plus y squared, as it's 0 for our g value, is equal to 180. Now, since we want it in this form, ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e, we just need to distribute this square into the bracket. So we get x squared plus y squared plus 200, 400, sorry, minus 40x is equal to 180. And if we move our 180 across, we get x squared plus y squared plus 220 minus 40 is equal to 0. Question 4.6. The smaller circle must be translated k units along the x-axis to touch the larger circle internally. 
Calculate the possible values of k. So for our small circle, our radius is equal to the square root of 20, which is 2 root 5. For our large circle, we have a radius of the square root of 180, which is 6 root 5. And since g is the point 20 and 0, our k value must either be 20 minus the difference in our radius radii, so 6 root 5 minus 2 root 5, or k is equal to 20 plus the difference in radii. And when we calculate this, we get k to be equal to 11.06 units or 28,94 units. And that's all for this video. Thank you.